Abad East, Harlem, AM. Today's the day I can taste it. Got my gray sweats pouting in a breeze so soft, I feel like I'm still wrapped for sleeping as I head uptown in my undercover power suit, bitch sunlight fingering the spaced out tenements. This morning, there ain't nothing I can't do. This is my territory. I know all of it. Ten long blocks flanked by mighty water. Walking any avenue is like riding a cosmic surfboard on the biggest wave of the goddamn century, the East River twerking her bedazzled behind while sky spills coin like a luck-crazed Vegas granny flush at the slots. Today, I'm going to make out like a bandit myself hook up with my buds to drop a few shots on the courts, ogle the ladies, then play the rest of the day as it comes. See where it goes. Feeling good, feeling good. Somewhere over the Hudson, the sun heading home. Abad West. Ferguson, Missouri. Everywhere absence mocks me. Jimmy jettisoned like rotten fruit. Franklin blown away. Heat a plenty of all kinds, especially when August blows its horn. Cops and summer and no ventilation make piss poor running buddies. A day just like all the others, me out here on the streets, skittery as a bug crossing a skillet, no lungs big enough to strain the scalded broth into brain and tissues, plump my arteries, my soul. Voice in my ear hissing, go ahead, leave, look around, no gates, no barbed wire. As if I could walk on water, as if water ever told one good truth, lisping her lullabies as she rocks another cracked cradle of Somalis until it splits and she can pour her final solution right through. Me watching from the other side of the world, high and dry on this street, running straight as a line of smack, sun shouting down its glory. No one's stopping you. What are you waiting for? Ghetto land, exeunt. Follow the morning star. Tell yourself it's only a sliver of sun burning into your chest, a cap of gold or radiant halo justly worn by the righteous at heart. Then take it off, stomp it, rip out the seams. Wherever a wall goes up, it smolders. Gate or street corner, buried canal. You'll catch yourself before crossing. Stumble over perfectly flat stones. Skirt the worn curb to avoid a cart rumbling past three centuries ago. You stop to gaze up at the softening sky because there is nowhere else to look without remembering pity and contempt, without harboring rage.